Yeah, this is about what I expected. Let's just see if we can uh, not die against the Germans. Because I'm pretty sure they are stronger than me. Holy shit, guys. New DLC. But I don't get it because I'm not, you know, famous enough yet to, to get it before launch. Yeah, sad times. Anyway, because I didn't get it early, we're going to do chair. And you might be thinking, holy shit, you're completely schizophrenic. And you would be right. However, chair. Also, I got a new camera. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Because remember, if I don't get to 1k before November, I will be shot. Also, you know, Megan campaign at 1k. But, you know, that's besides the point. So, who cares? We've got our glorious focus tree. Which consists of chair, 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 and chair. And these two don't even do anything. Also, apparently, this one annexes Ireland. Because why not, right? The funniest thing about this mod is that it is so horrendously outdated. Yet, somehow, it still works. But we have the old tanks. Like the tanks you couldn't design yourself. But we have those. So I'm going to be using those to see if they hold up. Apparently not only the tanks. We also have the planes. Alright. Our glorious divisions. The chairs and couches. They will be ready to conquer England. Why is our field marshal chair a desert fox? Someone needs to explain that one to me. Ah. All these focuses take about seven days. Except this one. Which takes zero days for some reason. Apparently our province is also at max capacity. Incredible. But there is no infrastructure. And I'm guessing this is because uh, the, 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 the patch this mod is from didn't have that yet. So that's pretty funny. Ignore the change in camera dimension. I'm still figuring out the correct dimension for this camera. My dog keeps looking at me like I'm just completely schizophrenic. Because he just thinks I'm talking to myself. Which at the end of the day I am indeed doing. But you know, there's a little more to it. I'd like to think. Whenever I play mods like these, I, I like to check out things that he just copied from other nations. And I can already see that this infantry division and this light tank division uh, are directly copied from the German ones. Always fun to see that. Also, this mod is like three or four years old. Never been updated. I have no idea how it still functions. But it does, and it's funny. There we go, boys. As it should be. Chair. Oh, look, they do something. They give me factories in Ireland. Chair denounces British ideals. Because everyone knows chairs are the opposite of British. On the other hand, we've done the entire focus tree. And now we'll not be able to do the continuous focuses. Because we've only got five. By the way, unrelated to the video. The, the last video got some real good support, guys. Thank you for bumping me up to 900 subs, man. That gives me faith that I can actually maybe make it to 1k before November. So I won't be shot. Pardon me. Nothing happened. So the game just told me that Poland... Poland puppeted Liberia, but no, it didn't. Uh, also, I just noticed that, um, well, this doesn't work, but that's probably because of the mod. Uh, however, if, you know, we just don't look at that place, it's like it, it's not even a problem. Wait, I can actually fix this with transfer state tool. I should not have tried fixing that. It just crashed the game. No worries, though. I've got an auto save. It has finished, guys. It is time for chair to take its rightful place in the world. Oh no, a naval invasion in Ireland. What will I do now? Cry. That's what I will do. Anyway, while they take an uncourt, uninteresting place of my nation, I'll just take their capital. You know, with this invasion of chair, I always wonder one thing. How will this affect the economy? Are my NFTs and stocks still okay? At this point, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, guys. I'm just talking gibberish. Holy shit. Holy shit. That was quick as hell. <laughs> Wait, I'm able to take everything from Ethiopia as well? <laughs> okay. Well, um, this is an interesting turn of events. If I may say so myself. This might be because of the tanks? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know, but it's funny as hell. Uh, my entire army is gonna collapse though, because I need like a shitload of guns to garrison everything that isn't a core. And well, everything except Cornwall is not a core. Although I do have the entire British Navy, which is also funny. How much further can I actually try pushing this? It's only 1936. And I've pretty much just taken all of this already. That is insane. All right, let's make a garrison division and name them Stools. Heimatschutzdivision. They're German garrisons, apparently. You know, I just realized that the best thing about having Britain out of the way this quickly is that we won't have them guaranteeing a shitload of nations for no apparent reason. I, I mean, the French are still doing it, but... Who cares about the French, right? All right, it's time to expand chair again and declare war on the Netherlands and probably France as well because they'll help them, but who cares? No, we've been embargoed by Sweden and Romania for some reason. Why is the Navy not helping the invasion? Well, doesn't matter, we landed. So let's just take the port and the cities and we'll win this. That was really quick. So wait, Greece is now at war with Italy. Sure, I, I don't care. That's, that's perfectly fine. That's how it should be, I think, really. 
the fuck is going on, man? Uh, okay, well, I was trading for oil with the US, but uh, they just embargoed me. Uh, I mean, I wonder why. I mean, what did I do? I fought, like, two wars. What's the problem, man? What is France doing in India? I don't know. I don't care. Wait, they're also doing it in Africa. You know, it's fine. It's just a distraction. Another domino falls under the might of chair. Yeah, the French are, were a little too preoccupied with my borders in Asia and Africa. And now I'm just, um, you know, waddling my chair over to Paris. Yeah, no resistance whatsoever. This is hilarious. Oh, they already fell. Oh, that's so stupid. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, sure. This is, this, this makes perfect sense. I am still completely unable to make any new divisions because I still need 45,000 guns for my garrisons. Anyway, there goes Luxembourg. Thank God we've got Luxembourg done. That would have been the most difficult of them all, I think. Chair angered by German posturing. Yes, as we all know, the real one that stopped Hitler was Chair, our beloved Chair. Don't look at his political ideology, it's not important. Turkey presses the Hatay issue. Well, Chair will not back down. And uh, Greece is having a uh, fun time against the Italians. Yeah, that didn't last very long. Chair questions the motives of Germany. I mean, their acts of aggression and warmongering are cringe and baseless. And our acts of glorious conquest are based and red -pilled. So we must take them down before this goes any further. Yeah, this is about what I expected. Let's just see if we can uh, not die against the Germans. Because I'm pretty sure they are stronger than me. This is looking oddly familiar. Uh, they're even breaching me in a level 10 fort. Yeah, um, hmm. uh, maybe Germany was a little too much for me to handle, which I probably did know and just chose to completely ignore. But who cares? I'm chair. Yeah, they just breached the Maginot line. I am actually impressed by that, to say the least. Oh, and they unsluiced Austria. Like I said, this is according to plan, because now we don't have to occupy Germ. I mean, what did I mean? Uh, France and the Lowlands. So now we only lack 10,000 guns instead of 40,000 guns. Which means more guns for the army. Alright, Chair wasn't the best field commander. So we have... So we've hired a human expert to now lead our armies. And Chair will just be the field marshal. Czechoslovakia hasn't surrendered. That could be great for us. And now Italy has declared war on Albania. Even though they just protected it against Greece. They have now conquered it for some reason. Sure. What? 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 Why is my capital in Africa? I... What? Where is my capital? I can only put troops out in Africa and I haven't lost my capital once. So when and why did my capital change? And mostly to where? For the life of me, I cannot find my capital. What is my capital? I don't know, huh? Why is this style my capital? Hmm, kinda weird. I wonder why, I wonder how. Okay, luckily the Czechs aren't doing too bad. So that gives us a fighting chance. Oh no. Okay, well Italy joined them, that's gonna be a problem because they're gonna take over my African place. Wait, I just realized. Wait, why is Chad a core state for, for me? What? Why is Africa at all a core for me? Huh? Oh no, wait, it's not. It's just Chad. Why is it a core state for me? Huh? This mod is weird, man. Yeah, okay, that's a lot of Italian divisions. Hmm. Yeah, and the Czechs are feeling it now as well. Art thou feeling it now, Mr. Krebs? Hmm, they pulled out some troops. Let's see if we can do a desperate offensive. Maybe I should have drawn an offensive line if I wanted them to do that. Yep. Hmm, it's actually somewhat working, I guess. Oh, naval invasion somewhere. Probably on Gibraltar. And I do not care about Gibraltar. Brazilian operative captured. Why is there a Brazilian operative in my chair nation? Or should I say chair empire? Okay, we're actually pushing the Germans and Italians back somehow. Lord only knows how. I did have some extra guns though, so I better get producing some more units. How am I pushing so hard? I don't understand. I've made it back to Paris already, Jesus. Okay, so luckily the Italians have taken chat and now I can just put out my units in Britain again. All right, so apparently I haven't recorded the last half hour. However, Hungary and Romania joined the Axis, so Czechoslovakia is down. My plan was to wait until the Polish got declared war and hope they would help me. Yeah, that's not going to happen for some reason, because the Germans just aren't justifying on them, even though it's already 1940. And I don't think there's a lot 
I can do it right now. I mean, I could, you know, just hold the line and wait three, four, five years to build up an army and then counterattack them. Obviously, uh, yeah. You might be surprised to hear that for a mod about me playing a chair, I am not into doing that. Who would have expected that, right? Holy shit. Anyway, that's probably going to be it for this video. Sorry that's a little bit shorter. Sorry that I'm leaving it open-ended, but I really have to go right now. And yeah, next week, Arms Against Tyranny. It's going to be great. It's going to be better. I'm going to put more work in it. I'm going to try to get something out on Wednesday. I'm not sure if I can, depending on how much time I've got. And yeah, besides that, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, let's get to 1k. And see you guys next time. I'll do. Oh no, I'm gonna lose this and I'm gonna lose so much more of my goddamn industry. Uh, stinky poopy. Haha, <laughs> not funny. How did this happen? There were three units. It didn't say it was losing. And it lost. This is... This game is sometimes... It's so infuriating.